Thank you for inviting us to this conference. This paper is about a lab experiment with professional traders. There is a large experimental literature on trading in financial markets using student subjects. The question we ask in this paper is whether professional traders behave similarly to students in the laboratory. We do so by considering three dimensions, bubbles behavior, private information aggregation, and strategic reasoning. We would like to emphasize that in this experiment we only used professional traders and portfolio managers, not the wider class of financial market professionals. This is because people who directly trade or invest in markets may behave quite differently from the broader class of financial market professionals. So let's go to the first question. Do traders bubble? Well, I make you guess which of these two panels refers to the trader treatment and which one to the student treatment. I'll give you the answer. This is the panel for the students. The price at which they trade, the median price is the red line, shows the standard bubble behavior that we observe also in previous experiments with students, where the price goes above the fundamental value, which is the dotted line, and only by the end of the experiment converges to the fundamental value. Look now at the traders. Well, the median price in this case tracks the fundamental value quite closely. It's not perfect, but certainly traders do not create the bubble that we have observed with students. So first conclusion is traders do not create bubbles. One novel characteristic of our experiment is that we introduce private information in a bubble game, in a standard trading game. The graph that you see here shows the three contingencies that could occur during trading in terms of price change from one period to another. These contingencies are due to private information. The first contingency, HL, is one in which if private information is perfectly aggregated, then we would observe a change in price by 150. The second is one in which we would observe a decrease by 50. And the third is one in which we would not observe any price change at all. Well, in the trader treatment, the results that we obtain on average are quite close to the theory with changes by approximately 130, 50, 0. For the students instead, one can immediately see that the change in price that on average we observe is indeed independent of the specific contingency. The conclusion is that traders aggregate private information better than students. In our experiment, we also asked subjects to participate in a guessing game where they have to guess two-thirds of the average. For the students, we observe a mean guess of 37.2, perfectly in line with previous results. For the traders, we observe a lower number. The mean guess is 22.6. Note also that 21.4% of traders were level infinity, meaning they chose either 0 or 1. This is against 3.6% of students who chose 0 or 1. Essentially, traders choose lower numbers than students. But why is it the case? Is it because they have higher strategic ability? Is it because they have different beliefs about the strategic ability of others? Well, to answer these questions, we designed a new guessing game, which is an individual decision-making game, in which each agent has to choose eight numbers. A rational agent chooses eight zeros. The proportion of traders and students who give the correct answer is the same. But now notice that the subjects answering zero in the individual guessing game chose on average 11.73, 
when it was about traders. And for students instead, they chose 26.8. Essentially, this shows that the differences we observe in the guessing game are at least in part due to different beliefs about others. Now, can we explain maybe these differences in the two populations by individual characteristics? Maybe the traders are smarter than students, or maybe they are more confident, or maybe they have different levels of risk aversion. Well, the answer is no. Traders are not smarter than students, as you can see from the results of the Raven test and the cognitive reflection test. They have the same level of confidence as students. Traders are less risk averse than students, but this cannot explain the previous findings. In conclusion, compared to student subjects, professional traders misprice the asset to a lower extent. No bubbles in the city. Traders aggregate private information better and have a higher level of reasoning as described before. These differences do not appear to be driven by their cognitive abilities, risk preferences or confidence. Thank you.